Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, today we're going to talk a little bit about fertilizer on the planter. Now, a lot of you folks have heard me talk about nutrition or fertilizer on the planter in regard to liquid. And I'll be honest with you, we've had a lot of growers um, over the last few years say they're challenged by putting liquid equipment on their planter. Now, we feel like it's been a, a great resource for us at the PTI farm. We've been able to increase yields with furrow jet and with conceal applications. You've heard me talk about that for a number of years, but I have had a number of growers that come to me and say, Jason, I'm not gonna put liquid on my planter. You're gonna slow me down. I just don't wanna put liquid uh, tanks and pumps on the planter. I don't wanna do it. However, those folks do say that they do think they'd get a yield response by putting some type of fertility or nutrition on the planter. So I wanna show you something we're working on here at the PTI farm. And I just kinda of wanna get, give you an inside look and then maybe get some comments for you. Hopefully I can get some feedback uh, from you folks on what you think about what we're doing here. So this is a dry fertilizer study that we've got here at the PTI farm. This is a first year uh, plot trial for us out here on the farm. But we've got a planter row unit where we're looking at applying micronutrient packages on the planter. And these are, these are small rates per acre. These are five pounds per acre, 10 pounds to the acre. And we've got these replicated out in the field. We want to see if we can get any yield response from the small rate micronutrient packages that we've got here in the field. So we're doing this on corn and soybeans both, where I'll show you some of the products that we're using here in a little bit. But, but again, the idea would be to have something like a soil applied insecticide box on your planter using a box type um, situation like that to put on dry fertilizer on your planter at very low amounts. This would be a situation where you'd probably fill it once a day it would get you throughout the whole day of planting and then you'd refill either that night at the end of the day or first thing in the morning. So again, we're trying to collect some data here and this, it, I guess we're also trying to figure out, is there a market for this? For these guys that don't want to go liquid, which I don't know that I really recommend, but nevertheless, it's out there, it's happening. Guys are saying they don't want to do it. So is there a market segment that would like something like like dry fertilizer in small amounts on the planter. So we're developing some data here, getting some agronomic data in, evaluating whether it can work or not. And I'm curious from you folks, if you, you, know, if you think something like this would work. Now we've got a, a row unit here. This is just a Gandy box. Now, if we ever come out with a product, it won't look anything like this, but this is what we're doing just to get data here at the farm. We've got a Gandy box driven by a hydraulic motor. And basically we're bringing fertilizer through this drop tube and it's coming right before our closing system on the planter as we're planting. So we're banding these micronutrient dry fertilizer uh, products out in the field. So we'll do a quick walk around here and you guys can see again, I think this is kind of a crude version of, 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 of doing this on the planter, but nevertheless, it worked very good this spring and and uh, we're gonna get some good data on this and figure out is this a, a, a market that we wanna investigate in. So let's do a, a quick walk around this unit and we'll show you how we're using this Gandy box system. So we just basically went to Gandy and we've got this poly tank that we're putting on the back of the planter. This would be where your soil applied insecticide box would fit. Now we've got a hydraulic, we had an orbit motor on this thing and we're, we're well overdone. It, it, you know, this is high capacity. I think to put five and 10 pounds on, this is a little bit overdone. Nonetheless, this is what we've got to work with. And, and it did a really good job of applying product. We've got a paddle wheel up here that takes product from this tank and we're just putting it in this drop, drop hose, going all the way down, feeding it through the row unit here. And then this hose, we need to cut to fit this, but just for just for uh, demonstration purposes, the product would come down this hose and then it, it'd feed right before the closing wheel. So we're going to get a little incorporation from the closing wheels. Not much, but it's still a band right over the planted row. Okay, let's go into, into this trial here, this dry fertilizer trial, and kind of see what some of this corn looks like. I'll give you an inside look. So we've got some, got some really nice ears in here where we've got this micronutrient study. Here's the plant and kind of here's what we're seeing with, with some of this. Now this is 30 inch rows. We've got it planted at 36,000 out here. Some pretty high populations of corn. Here's an ear we're pulling off of here. Looks like we're running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 
I'm running 43 long on this. I bust her open. Big old kernels on this thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think it was uh, 40 long. 18 by 40 on this. I've got about 36,000 ear count out here in the field. Pretty nice, nice looking corn. The thing that I'm noticing with this micronutrient trial is some of these plants, you know, I pulled this ear, the main ear off of this plant. Some of these plants are growing tillers or what a lot of people call suckers. This is a sucker right here and it actually put a partial ear on it. And so I think that's interesting. Now this is gonna make corn. Now you may say, well, shoot, this, 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 this ear corn right here don't, don't look like much. But ladies and gentlemen, this will contribute to yield here. And you know, you take 250 bushel corn plus and you add this to every single stalk. Well, you know, we, out here, I'll just take it off and we'll go ahead and look at it here. You know, it looks like we're running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 long. And if I can bust this thing in half, and actually this guy is running one, I'm gonna try to get it in front of the camera here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I got a 16 by 20 on a tiller. So maybe it's high, all hybrid genetic related. I don't know. We're going to look through this, look at the, the controls versus where we've got some of the micronutrients, but maybe we can get a response with a micronutrient banded over the row to get us some, some tillering ability to drive yield higher. I don't know. We're going to take a look at this and see if we're getting some agronomic advantages. All right. So there you have it. An inside look at one of the new studies we're working on here at the PTI farm, a dry fertilizer micronutrient uh, package on the planter banded over top of the row. Today's inside agronomy tip of the day is, I, I guess I'd like some feedback from you folks. I, I know this is not a market for everybody. I know it could be a limited market, but I guess I'd love to get some feedback from you folks. If you'd send me an email at insidepti at precisionplanning.com, I'd love to hear from you. If you'd be interested in something like this, think again of a soil applied insecticide uh, box on the planter where maybe we could split it and you could still put it, you know, run V-Drive insecticide, you know, that V-Drive to really get that accurate placement of insecticide, but maybe we could use a V-Drive motor to actually use it to apply a micronutrient mix on the planter. I'm curious, would you be interested in something like this? I know a lot of you are gonna say, show me the data first, show me if this is gonna work. But if you're a grower that really doesn't wanna go the liquid route and would like to do this, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to get your comments and uh, get your feedback whether you think this would be a viable option for your farm. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us for this edition of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.